hello hello kenny evans here another car video for yo <laughs> so the topic of this video is fresh and fit drama part two before i get into that i want to let you guys know i make this channel for men and women to help them be the best they can be in all aspects of their lives. I know I do a lot of dating relationships, but it's not just about dating relationships. You have the health, wealth, and the mindset. You know what I mean? So that is what this is all about. Uh, this channel is all about. And, uh, and on top of that, you know, I have people here who are new. And I have people here who have been here for a while. Whether you're new or you've been here for a while, hit the subscribe button. Hit that notification button. And if you really enjoy the videos or if you just want to support me. Hit that like button. I appreciate it all. Thank you. So, let us get back to the topic at hand. Fresh and Fit Drama Part 2. So, a lot of the drama is dying down a little bit. You know what I mean? And it's all good, as it should be. Um, it's part of, the, part of the cycle of uh, the internet and stuff on the internet. So, um, but... You know, answer uh, Fresh and Fit actually did a answer all video last week, and I'll link that here in the description. Um, but what the reason I bring that up is because I they did that last Tuesday. I didn't watch it, and obviously you guys know I did my video on Wednesday of last week. So I was going off of what I knew before they did that answer all video, and since they did that answer all video. It was quite impressive, you know, they came out, they admitted a lot of the stuff that they did wrong, um, and that was good. I, I was impressed with that, um, but most importantly, they also called out a lot of the stuff that people did not know about behind the scenes. And again, um, this video is going to be quick, I'm not going to go into everything in detail, because I'll be here forever, you know what I mean, but I'm going to give a brief synopsis of the main points of the answer all video they did and you are definitely going to be in for a uh, a long sit if you watch that video because it was almost five hours long but i understand they wanted to get everything out they want to make sure that everybody understood where they stood and understood that the, um, the facts that you know what people were saying about them wasn't necessarily true and what people were saying happened weren't wasn't necessarily true so they kind of they cleared it all up the best they could you know what i mean so but yeah they did that video and one thing i learned about that video was anna quinn really escalated the drama you know so after the initial interaction that they had you know and uh, byron used that weak attempt to 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 to, to hit on anna quinn there's a little bit of radio silence, but she kept on messaging him. Boom, boom. Not only did she keep on messaging him, but she also kept on blasting him on her Instagram stories and talking bad. You know what I mean? And it really escalated the situation with her followers. Then Myron, you know, uh, reposted some of her stuff that brought his following in. And that's when, you know, a lot of the uh, the drama escalated even more you know what i mean but she was already perpetuating it and escalating it and continuing it you know even before myron ever did anything and then on top of that you know she went to that live stream where he was talking about her and the drama that they had but she entered the chat and not only did she enter the chat but she was also talking bad about some of the people in the chat, fresh and fit following. She was talking bad about them. You know what I mean? So, <laughs> and then after that, a few minutes later, she left. And then she still, you know, uh, she got uh, she she got attacked because as much as Myron told them to roast her later in the chat, he told them not to roast her. But then at the same time, she got in after he told them not to roast her. And she was talking bad about the people in the chat you know what i mean and then she left and then you know the rest is history she got roasted you know so um but on top of that 
you know, that whole part was clear. I was like, wow, I didn't know about all that stuff. So pretty interesting. And as we know about Abba and Preach, they did those videos. Um, you know, this was whole lot all last week. You know, my, uh, Fresh and Fit, they apologized. For talking about Abba and Preach, specifically Preach and his wife and the country and all that stuff. But then you got Abba and Preach who are continually making videos and talking bad. I mean, not necessarily specifically at them, but just more about what they do and what they're kind of, they feel they represent, you know, Fresh and Fit. And they're still perpetuating this drama. Now they're on the tour and they're doing talking about what happened between them and Fresh and Fit. And it's like they're perpetuating, they're continuing this drama. You know what I mean? So it seems like they're, they're, they're riding the wave. And you could accuse me of the same thing, but I'm not necessarily taking sides. I'm just talking about what each side said. You know what I mean? So they're perpetuating the drama and continuing the drama. And I, and I guess it's helping them for now. But of course, just like anything on the internet, eventually this too shall pass. So, and then you have, um, you know, Allende and Lara, La, Lara J. They're talking about fresh and fit. They were, you know, talking bad and they always say they owe money and all this. And apparently this stuff happened months ago. Happened months ago. And they happened to come out here uh, that last week when Abba and Preach started to attack them. Um, and then, you know, fresh and fit did talked about that and pretty much said hey ayande has been paid in full they left in amicable terms you know there was no issues laraje same thing you know laraje and ayande were responsible for getting the girls you know what i mean and um you know they cut ties with them after a failed party but they paid both of them they left on good terms and they again they came out when abba and preach attacked them Saying all this stuff and wah wah wah, you know, and then they breaks into the house, the the fresh is a, a condo, and it's like, it's they would just seem like they're clout chasing, and they apparently were were caught in, they were caught lying, all the stuff that they said fresh and fit did, and were doing, apparently it's not true, so um, they were clout chasing, and they were definitely um, you know caught lying, and uh, yeah. Now they, they will fade into obscurity of the internet. And I mean, then we have Nina Unrated. Oh, they were sexually harassing her and the woo woo, wow, wow, wow. Again, she overreacted. Sure, they they um, wanted to get some sexual content for her, uh, with her, because she does OnlyFans and she, can't, she does sexual content. You know what I mean? And what she would have been paid if it was all neutral. She, they would have gave her the exclusive rights with the content. You know what I mean? But she didn't want that. You know what I mean? She brought money. So they brought money. And because their money didn't align, she got mad. And she tried to guilt trip them and say, hey, you you know, you were going to let me on this video. Uh, let me do the uh, the interview with you guys so I can get closer to her son. And, you know, but at the end of the day, business is business. You know what I mean? And, um, you know, they offered... They wanted her to do the sexual thing. She didn't want to, and, and they left it alone. But they didn't keep on badgering her. They didn't harass her like she made it seem like they did. You know what I mean? So she definitely overreacted. Um, and again, it's it's no good. But again, she will eventually fade into internet obscurity as well. You know, so it is no good, but it is what it is. And um, as much as I... I I never unsubscribed from Fresh and Fit, and as much as they did kind of, you know, earn a little bit more of my respect, I still did not, and this is the reason I was really mad, and if you watched my, my previous video, this is the reason why I was, I wasn't even mad, but I was talking more negative about uh, Fresh and Fit and being hypocrites and all that and being weak men and having a weekend because how Myron approached Anna Quinn to date her, he says. You know what I mean? Because he never even mentioned, and then if for you guys who, who might not remember, he said that, hey, you know, I only date girls who I, or I only collaborate with girls who I date. No pressure, though. And it was just so weak. He didn't mention her, Anna Queen. He didn't flirt. He didn't make sure she had any sort of interest. 
He said, oh, well, I know guys you slept with. So what? Are you those guys she slept with? Are you guys all the same? Because she slept with them, now she has to sleep with you? You know what I mean? It was just weak. He never mentioned her, never flirted. It's just, as a dating coach, I don't care how what you think about a girl, unless if you're going to pay her, you don't talk to girls like that. And, and this, I mean, this is not to defend women. It's just, that was just weak and weak game. You know what I mean? And just that, I'm still disappointed with him because I'm sure, I mean, hopefully he doesn't ever do that again. At least he doesn't put it on the internet or text it or anything where it could be documented. Because that was just that was just weak, you know what I mean? And that's just it. That was just weak. So, I mean, it is what it is. I'm over that, the whole situation now, just because I understand everybody makes mistakes. Everybody lives their life as they please. And, you know, nobody's perfect. You know what I mean? We all got things that we won't like about each other. So, but yeah, that's all I got for y'all. <sighs> Fresh and Fit Drama Part 2. So, uh, let me know what you you thought, whether you feel like I missed something or I got everything spot on, you know, uh, like, if you dislike, let me know what you disliked, leave me a comment, you know, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, hit that notification button, um, of course, let me know what other topics you want me to talk about, again, this channel is not just for me, it's, it's not even about me, it's actually about you guys, help you guys be better in all aspects of your life, um, yeah. And, of course, if you find value in this video, I appreciate donations. All donations are welcome. Any little bit counts. You know what I mean? Only if you found value, of course, in the video. And, of course, you know what I mean? I hope you guys are staying safe. And I'll see y'all next week. But until then, always remember the strongest man is the happiest man.